Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I have a lot going on in this tutorial. We have a cake topper here. So this is the cake topper, which I'm gonna show you in a second. It's so cute. And you see the stars move, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, we have the, the bigger stars on the right here. That's these cute little straw things that we're gonna put um, like on the table or something like in a jar so they're super cute they can drink from them or not um, I was thinking they're more for just decor because I don't know how many I'm actually gonna make um, and we have a shaker six which is this straw right here so you can see oh I smushed the straw hold on so it there's sequins inside little star shaped ones um, so this is for the birthday girl um, and that's all that's on this canvas, which originally was just going to be the cake topper, but um, this is the first time that I've done American Girl doll theme. So um, if you create a lot of these, um, what you'll find is that what you envision in your head, what you design on within design space, and what you actually come out with, I would say a lot of times it doesn't work, right? Whether it's the color, the design's not sturdy enough, um, it's too small, things don't look right. So even though everything is sized properly here, and I'll even pull colors of my cardstock beforehand and kind of think about what I want, and it still doesn't look good even though I've done all the legwork. So that's why I cut so many stars, and I ended up with an excess, so I thought, oh, you know what, I'll make them into, um, little decorations on the straws so that's how it started uh, so okay so when I'm designing I don't necessarily change all the colors to what I end up doing but I will show you I kind of just want to get the design in place and then also kind of figure out what I wanted to do originally I was even gonna have the six spin so if you look at the cake topper these stars they move which I just love because it's sort of a simple um, cake topper, right? It's just a hexagon with the name and the number, but these stars make it everything. And the stars are so layered front and back. So there's so much um, going on in this cake topper. And if you can see from the side, it's a thick cake, cake topper. I wanted to make sure, so you see how I'm holding it with just one straw? I wanted to make sure that it is stable because there's nothing worse than a flip floppy cake topper so this has a lot of layers it's heavy but it's all good the name's got multiple layers it really stands out the six it's legible um and just really 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 adorable so all right let's get started so with the stars um what you can do is you can pick a star so here's the star in here you could just do this um I didn't go with this star because I wanted the American Girl doll star, which is straight across right here. So um, if you use this one, all I did was you would duplicate them and then make it smaller so that you have the multiple layers. So let's just use this one for now. And then you, um, this is how you would go about doing it. <laughs> So you've got your three stars, right? If you like it like this, then what I would do is I would make this smaller um, and I would change the colors. So I knew that I would wanted to do um, glitter pink, glitter blue, glitter magenta, white, and then I also threw in there a regular pink just to make sure. So that's why you see the different colors here. Let me go to color sync so you can see the different colors. So. And a lot of times, like, you know, obviously I'm not using orange at all, but if you use two different types of whites, like regular white cardstock and then white glitter cardstock, you can't put it all as white because then you can't distinguish between the cuts. So that's why there's an orange here, um, the acetate paper, et cetera, foam sheets. So you need to have funky colors in here. So anyway, so here's the blue. It is the glitter blue it's so pretty um this pink is the glitter pink glitter white 
magenta red. Um, this is the regular pink. So just so that you can see, all right? So what I would do is I would change up, I would do um, here. Let's go back to layers. Um, duplicate this a few times and we're going to change the size so it's really important um, I'm just going to do three for it so that you can see so here's the first one right here's the first set of threes I would change the colors so make this you know exactly what you think you're going to do um, quite and then this back layer is the magenta. So, and then you wanna do it on this one. You wanna change it up, because you want, what you wanna do is you wanna create a very cohesive theme, but, and using the same set of colors, but in different orders. That's gonna make it look really polished and really put together, and a little different, but not, like everything's gonna be cohesive, because you're gonna have a little here, a little there. And then on this one, maybe make that top layer white. Um, so I would probably do like five variations and then we're gonna change, you need to change um, size and color. So that's what's really gonna set this apart is all the different layers and all the different sizes. Because you can see this is not that complicated. It's just like I said, the shape and the name, I mean, there's only a handful of colors. So what you need to do is you, we need to make sure that the stars are different sizes in different combinations of the same set of colors. And then you're gonna get the effect that you want, which is, here, let me show you the stars. The stars look so good together and they're all layered. So I did five of them because I had so many, but you can see together, they look really, really good. Sorry, I'm having a hard time holding these without like, ah, there we go. <gasps> so you could see like together on a table, it's gonna look so pretty and yet it's so simple, right? So here we're gonna layer it and then, you know, make it the different sizes. Now remember when you're doing spinning stars, you don't wanna have a back side, right? You want both sides to be your front side because as it's spinning or where it lands, you want it to always be on a good side. So you don't have your back side have nothing. So once you decide on the sizes, you just grab everything and you duplicate it. So right now you kinda of just wanna place it and we're kind of still figuring out our layout. So let me show you how to make the little hexagons. So go into shapes and you're gonna get your hexagon. And I'm gonna just move this down for a second. And this file is getting kind of big, so I'm gonna to have to delete some things in a second. Um, otherwise, it's gonna slow us down. We've got way too many stars going on. <laughs> um, okay, maybe it's already too much. I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna delete them for now. Okay, but you kind of saw how I did it. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this hexagon back up here. Um, it doesn't matter how small it is right now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate it and we're gonna make one smaller than the other. And this is totally up to you, like what size you wanna make it, right? So I did mine really thin. If you can see, I wanted a really delicate look, but with the number of layers, I made it stable. So that's, that's gonna be up to you. Um, okay, so let's say you like it like this, right? You wanna grab the two hexagons and you wanna to go to align and you wanna center it because you wanna make sure it's perfectly centered before you slice it. And then now we're gonna slice the two items. So when we're slicing, you can only slice two items at a time. So it's it's basically my two hexagons. So. So what you're left with is this beautiful little thin outline of the hexagons. You can get rid of these two things. So here's our first one, right? And this is a little bit thicker than I made it. Now, if you find that it's too thick at this point, what you can do is just duplicate it and make this one a little bit smaller, right? You want it to be um, so that we can slice it some more. So what you can do is now you can grab the two again and go to align and center it and then slice. 
So you can do this as many times as you want. So you can see we're making it thinner than it was before. Now it's really thin, right? But you have so many options. Look at all the ones that we sliced out. Do you like one more than the other? It really doesn't matter. That's obviously personal preference. So I'm gonna get rid of all the slice results. Here's what we have. So we have the first one, right? Let's say it is blue. Then you duplicate it. And all I did was when I was duplicating it, I would put it back and move it a little bit so that you get it, so that it comes out in all these other areas, right? So now I wanna make that one pink. Then I'm gonna duplicate that pink one. And again, it doesn't really matter, but I put it kinda of on top of the old one. So then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swirl it a little bit and change this one to white. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and swirl it one more time. Maybe over like this a little bit more. Okay, and this one's gonna be my magenta. Now, to make it sturdy, what you wanna do is you want to grab all of these, okay, and duplicate. Well, if this is the size that you want, okay? I always do my cake topper two inches smaller than my cake so that it's one inch from this side, one inch from this side, and our cake topper. So your cake topper, your cake topper can be as, as big as you want. I just find that it looks best if it's just slightly smaller than your cake. So, um, but let's say this is the size that you want. You wanna duplicate it. Then you wanna weld that duplicate. This is gonna be the copy that's gonna be all the way in the back. And this helps us too because it helps us line up everything. Um, and it just gives you something to put all your layers on top of. So it's giving us the stability that we want as well as helping us line up our project. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here and I don't want all those little cuts. In fact, if you can see mine, mine has no cuts because I did it with white cardstock and it to me, it didn't matter if the holes were closed up. So let me show you how to get rid of the holes. I, and if you don't want to get rid of the holes, at least get rid of the, these small ones. These small ones, first of all, no one's going to notice them, and it just ruins your blade and ruins your cut. It gives you that another chance of ruining the project and having to recut it. So I try to eliminate those where I can. <laughs> okay, so you just go to contour. If you want to get rid of it all, which I do, you're just going to click on hide all. It's going to get rid of all those little, all those little pieces, and you have this. Oh, but you don't want the middle piece, right? So sorry, hold on, we do want that clear. So all you have to do is go back to contour and click the middle circle. We say we want the middle circle so that it's empty. And then what I do for me, just visually so that I can piece this thing together, I'm gonna put this all the way in the back because it's not gonna be a piece that I'm gonna see. So I put it all the way in the back and it didn't, for some reason it didn't go all the way in the back. I'm gonna put it all the way down here. So did you know that over here, this is also the order of your layers? So our red is the most top layer on this whole canvas. So I just moved our welded piece back here. I also want the welded piece to be white because I don't want it to be noticeable at all. Okay, so here's our white piece, there's our back. Um, if you notice, everything has a layer, right? My six and the name Charlotte. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour to Inkscape really quickly. So now that you see how we do the stars, let's, um, before we do that, let's put the stars in place. Let's say, oops, and you know what? Before we do even that, let's grab the outer shell and group them together. So when we move one, we move them all. Okay, and same thing with our stars. We're gonna to wanna to do that as well. So we're gonna group all of our set stars. And that way, when we size, when we resize one star of the three, all of them get resized. Okay, so now we have this. This is way too big, right? And then this, and you want them, like I said, different shapes, different sizes, different colors, and Obviously not straight over, because that's gonna look really weird. You want them off balance on purpose so that there's no symmetry in that sense. So it's not like, oh my gosh, like that one's crooked. No, it's just, you know, 
randomly placed, but still like very please, pleasing to the eye, right? Okay, so let's do this one a little bit smaller and then one that's a little bit big, like right around here. Okay, and then if you like those three, right? So we'll move this for a second. You're gonna, whoops, you're gonna grab the three and we want duplicates because we want the back side because as they spin, we want both sides to be our front side, right? So I'm gonna move that over here, put this back up here. Okay, and then now we're gonna go into Inkscape and I have already done it, but this is how you would do it. So if this, um, let's go to a new one. So I had already done my homework in WordMark or Word Market to see which font looks the most similar to that American Girl font. It's so it's such a boring font. <laughs> so you want to go to your text here, and I always have to double click mine before it moves. Okay, and it's um, I think it's called Georgia. Here it is, Georgia. So we're gonna create our text box and do the name, Charlotte and then do the age and then go and click on your arrow and click in this empty white or actually no first let's click on this um lock make sure that it's locked i'm just gonna make it bigger so that it's easier for not just you but for me to see it okay so here's charlotte bigger now that's selected right so we want to click in an empty space so that nothing's selected hit your paint bucket hit any color because we'll fix it later. And then we're gonna grow or shrink. If you wanna make it bigger, we're growing. If you wanna shrink it in, um, do an internal offset, then you're going to put a negative sign in front of the number. But in this case, we're just gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna do it by 15. So watch what happens when we click on the letter. It, the, there's our offset, right? So this is at 15. And the next layer, I'm gonna do it at 30. Oops. And just undo when something like that happens. I just undo it and then I click more in the six and then the whole thing gets outlined. Okay, click on the arrow. This The last thing we messed with was the six. So you wanna make sure you click in the blank space so that nothing is selected. Click on the paint bucket, pick a different color, and then we're gonna grow by 30. So now, if you see the blue is all almost all connected. So when I click this, it got most of the letters and then don't worry about these empty spaces. And then here's my six. Then I'm gonna go grab the arrow, get my whole canvas in. I wanna select everything, go to path, object to path, file, save as. So I've already saved this, but you wanna save it um, as an SVG file, wherever you remember, because you're gonna bring it up, you're gonna bring it in design space. So now we're gonna go back to design space. You're gonna to go to upload, and then upload image and then you have to find wherever your file is right so browse and then you select on a file whatever it is i'm going to cancel out of this because i already have it in here but it will take you back to this screen right here and then you would just click on it and insert image So here's our name and our age. I'm gonna move it down here for a second and show you how to do it. Okay, so do you see how Charlotte is, it's separated, right? Here's the C, the H. This is obviously not the same thing. I must have used different numbers. I probably used 10 and 20 maybe because each one of these are individual letters. So you wanna ungroup and you can see like right here, here's our CH8, here's the name, right? So I'm gonna grab this, hit the shift key, and I'm gonna grab all of this first layer and I'm going to weld it. So here's the Charlotte layer. And I don't like all these little holes. I'm gonna go to contour and hide all. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, my next layer is the yellow. Um, there are some connections here. You can see it with the CH, the AR. So I'm just gonna grab everything here. Hit the Shift key. And weld. 
So here's that. And then I have this one I'm going to ungroup as well. And this time on this one, I am going to just weld it because it's individual line items and I just don't want to slow down my screen. So I'm just going to weld it even though there's no reason to weld it other than to save, um, to make it one, oh, one image. So here's Charlotte. And then here you would change the colors that you would want, right? So I ended up doing my top layer is pink. My middle layer is white. And then my backmost layer is the red. So that's the name. What you wanna do now is you wanna grab all three and align, and you also wanna center it just so that you get a good, it just helps you put everything together. And then you wanna group it because you want this to move together as one piece, all three layers. So let's go and put it in our little hexagon. Where is it? Oh, why is it? See, it's slowing down. All right, I'm gonna undo for just one second and see if that helps. Okay. Um, so you wanna resize this if you if you want the name to be smaller or if you want it to be like this, it's up to you. Now, if you're doing spinning stuff. You want to make sure you don't want to do something like this. You don't want any overlap. You want to make sure that the stars can spin fully a full circle without hitting anything. Okay, so this is okay. Um, now, if you remember, we had our back layer, right? So what you would, what I would do right now is I would duplicate this, the name Charlotte, and I'm just gonna weld it. I just want a solid whole piece. And then if you remember, I'm gonna put it on top right here, exactly where I want it, okay? And then I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for my back piece, my welded back piece. Um, where are you? Sorry, my nose. Oh, it's getting so far back because we have so many pieces, so. Um, all right, so I can't find it. So let's move this. For, oh, this is all grouped together as well. Um, all right, let's see if we can find it. It should be. Oh, it's this one, right? It's the, it's the weld result. Okay, so it's this one and then scroll up hit the shift key and grab our red Charlotte. And we wanna weld it together because we want the name to have a sturdy background as well. So this is what we want right here. So see this, everything sits on top of this. This will make it more sturdy. And I would do a couple, uh, a couple cuts of this so that you have, um, I might even do three or four because I want this to be my bottom layer and then my sticks, my straws or your wood dowels you know you need two of them and then you would put one more layer on top that everything's going to sit on so this might need a couple copies in my case i ended up doing one two three three layers of it i think and that just made it really sturdy i mean look at this it's it's a sturdy piece i'm not worried about anything falling or flipping over okay so that is that now Originally, I wanted my six to spin, so that's why I didn't, I had it just, um, let me see. Um, in this case, it needs to be smaller. I had it floating, oops. Ah, sorry. But in the end, I did not have it floating, so let me grab this for a second. Wherever you put this, like I did over here, I would again make a copy and weld it so that it has a sturdy home to put all the layers on top. So in this case, I had it somewhere over here and then I lined it up like this. And that's all that there is to it. So um, 
I hope that was helpful and let me know if, if there's anything that I missed or that you still have a question. But the designing part, I mean, amazingly on this one, I cut so many extra stars in case I wanted more layers. Some of my stars have um, like six pieces to it because it's three front and back. Some have two, um, yeah, some have just five. So it really gives it a just a, I, I feel like it's different, but it's all the same at the at the same time. And so when she blows, these will spin. So it just, and then just gives it an extra something. I really like it. Um, all right, let me know what else you wanna see for your cake topper and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.